Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you're at right now. Welcome in. Thanks for being here on the Income Stream. Okay, anyway. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, we got the wait list uh, or the waiting room up. Thank you, Mary, for that suggestion yesterday. I saw some of you having some conversations there already, which is really great. And if this is your first time here, welcome in. My name is Pat Flynn. I am here every morning, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. And so long as we are going through this worldly crisis right now, I want to provide some normal for you. I want to hold myself accountable to waking up in the morning. And I just want to have some fun. And today is Saturday. And yes, I am doing this on the weekends too. And we are on day 12, I think it is. Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, I like the waiting room. I like that, like you guys were chatting uh, behind, uh, behind the scenes here before we went in. And, um, I think that worked out pretty great, which is, which is really cool. I also did some things to enhance the stream here. For example, if you do something great for the community and I see it, I'm going to go, bam. Thank you. Thank you everybody for being here, by the way, that's good for the community too. I'm also going to be doing a few live website reviews which I'm going to save to the weekends, right? Because in the middle of the week, I just want to chat, answer questions, that sort of stuff. In the weekend, I want to have like a little bit of a difference where we go a little bit further with something. And I'm going to be doing some live site reviews too, which should be really cool. And I'll have a little countdown timer for that, as you can see. So uh, it'll be like a three minute review. That way I'm not going over like I tend to do because I try to help out as much as I can, but I want to get to as many people as possible too. Um, and in, in addition to that, I got some nice little easy things like this. By the way, if you haven't gone to this page yet, smartpassiveincome.com slash toolkit, I recommend you do because it'll give you access to this page here, which has been viewed tens of thousands of times. We've given away over $1 million worth of stuff that we are offering for help during this time, which is crazy. My team just reminded me yesterday. And what I'm talking about in terms of $1 million is this course here, Smart From Scratch. Uh, we usually sell for 249 to help people start their business. In 2008, I got laid off. That's when I started my business, thanks to the help from others who were very generous. So that's where uh, you can get that. There's also some other stuff they can get for free. Plus, we've added some new stuff since yesterday, actually. So we have a lot of friends and people in our space, financial, uh, legal, that sort of stuff that are offering help during this time. Some accounting firms that are offering some help, some help from some of our friends and assistance programs from other places too. Uh, so go ahead and check that out, smartpassiveincome.com slash toolkit. And that will be good to go from there. Uh, and then finally, I have a cool thing. Bam, Team Flynn for the win. Thanks so much, everybody. Team Flynn for the win. Cool. So welcome in. Let's answer some questions, and then we'll do some site reviews. I will let you know when I'm going to be asking for sites to review, and I'm going to give you a specific format on how to do that because if you just type in your domain name, I'm not going to be able to see it uh, just so you all know. Uh, so love website reviews. Ugh, LOL, says Susan. Yeah, but we're going to keep them to three minutes. What's up, Ernest? Good to see you. I remembered your name. Oh, that site live review segment is great. Ernest, thank you again for connecting on Twitter. I started Smart From Scratch yesterday and it's helped me tons already. Thank you so much, Joanna. I appreciate you for that. And let's let's get some shout outs. Professor Perseverance says, new toys, absolutely. I love my toys. Justin says, hey, Pat, quality ideas. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Loving the beard says, Omar. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, Peasant Uprising. Anil in the house. Good, good morning, Anil. Good to see you. I miss you, my friend. We're not going to see each other at events anytime soon, but I'm glad that you're here. Jess says, what camera lens are you using right now? Uh, Canon EOS R into the Blackmagic web presenter into the computer. So this is a DSLR camera, actually. Is your mic the $300 or $800 version? Uh, I think this is the $300 Rode NTG. By the way, I still owe y'all a, a list of sort of like where what, what I'm using, and I'm going to be putting that in the description eventually. And now that I'm scheduling these ahead of time, uh, it'll be great because I can add that in ahead of time and not have to do it on the fly. Dude, that's so cool. What's up, Zenya and Vlada? Good to see you here live as always. Just Samson in the house again. Is Solutions for you? Yes, Solutions is for you. Uh, what's up? Welcome in. What an awesome guy doing it on the weekend. Hey, I'm just here to serve. Good morning. And a uh, big shout out to Paul Lipsky, who on uh, Instagram gave me the help to actually help me do the waiting list like we are doing it today. We already have 94 people in, which is Fantastic. So just a quick question from Omar. I have a passion. I've started making tons of content around it. I just don't, I don't have the rest of the question, but uh, maybe it's, I don't know how I'm going to monetize. Uh, what I would recommend is grow your email list, have conversations with your email list, understand what they might need help with. The content is great. That's what you can use to attract. That that's what you can use to build authority. Uh, that's what you can use to connect with other players in the space. 
but you'll have to communicate in some way, shape, or form with that email list with directly your uh, consumers so that you can understand what you could do to better monetize from there. Hassan says, hello, please talk about niche sites someday. Well, let's talk about it a little bit right now. Niche sites were something that I was huge into back in 2010 with my security guard training website. Then in 2014 with a food truck website, niche sites are sites built specifically for very, very sort of narrow niches and to try and be an authority in that space. And I was able to do that twice with a security guard training space and food truck. And um, guess what? I just recently sold those websites. Now you might be considering, well, hey, Pat, how do you build a niche site when you're not an expert on those things? I'm not an expert in security guard training. I'm not an expert in building food trucks, but I was able to build them up, make money from them and sell them recently. How was I able to do that? Well, here's the trick. I didn't pretend to be the expert in that space. I stepped up to become the expert curator, the expert curator. What that means is I'm the person who's going to step up to find all the best information and put it all in front of people who need that info. And because those spaces were so narrow, people were were searching for very specific keywords. And I was able to come in there and provide the best information about those keywords. So quiet. Is it just me? Are you talking about the room or are you talking about me? Zenya, let me know. Day six of a 30-day week marathon training program. It is actually a marathon. Good job. Keep up the good work. Just a quick question. Uh, I just don't know what to build my business around. Yeah, so I answered that question already. Just have it be about who it is that you're serving, and then you're, there you're good to go. Anil says, distant hug. That's what I'm talking about. Happy Saturday, Seattle, Washington, says Cheryl. Stay safe. I know you guys are getting hit hard up there, especially those of you in New York as well. Mel says, I'm a fitness professional and I've taken my classes and my part-time sessions online or physical training sessions online. How can I promote it to people who are afraid of technology? Um, number one, the, num the, the number one thing you can do is show proof that a person like them who was scared of technology can actually do it. Number one. Number two, if you can have the steps laid out super easy, then you're going to be able to help sort of remove a lot of that fear. Oh, it's just three steps. Great. I think I can do that. I think people fear what they don't know and people fear the unknown. So if you can show that somebody else like them was able to do it, I did this myself when I was promoting Power Up Podcasting and I still promote this. I always talk about Dr. B. Dr. B is a woman who took my course. She's over 60, afraid of technology. I even have a podcast episode that I featured her on. And that episode and her story in particular is so powerful because a lot of people who are afraid of technology or who feel they're too old, they hear a version of themselves and her and they go, well, if she can do it, I can do it too. So that's what I would recommend. Hey, Pat, someone is saying that I should have or leave affiliate marketing and start selling some online products, but I don't want to quit. You don't have to quit. Why is there a dichotomy? Why do you have to do one or the other? Cannot you do both? I do both. I do affiliate marketing. That's where I started. You can add in your own products after that. Come on, people. Smash that like button. 22 likes and 118 people watching. We can do better than that. Thank you, Nigo. I appreciate you. I'm not here for the likes, although I do appreciate them. And big thank you to everybody who has liked so far. And make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification icon if you are here, because that way we can make sure that we get notified the next time this happens. And again, I'm going live every day, 8 a.m. to help and serve you. So long as we are going through this crisis together, the income stream lives on. By the way, that's the new name of the show, the income stream. I was going to make it the daily income stream or the the, yeah, the daily income stream, which sounds kind of cool too. Although I just don't want to be, you know, just in case I pivot or maybe we keep the income stream later after we get out of this, but it does, it doesn't, it's not daily anymore. So the income stream is what it's called, but you are the quarantine. You are my quarantine. You are still the quarantine. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's going to happen. Uh, hello, Pat. First time for me watching. Thank you for being here. Looking forward to it. Good morning to you from London. Would be fantastic to hear your thoughts on our site. Well, we're going to get into site reviews at some moment here a little bit. So just keep uh, keep on keeping on for now. Uh, keep calm and carry on. Uh, Salima says, what are you using to have questions appear on your screen? I'm using Ecamm Live. So if you go to e uh, excuse me, patflynn.com slash Ecamm Live, E-C-A-M-M-L-I-V-E. -M -M -E. That is an affiliate link, just so you know, but it's a very powerful tool that I'm going to be doing a, um, I'm going to be doing a, oh, I'm sorry, this toolkit thing was up the whole time. I'm going to be doing a uh, tutorial on very soon because I'm loving it. I am stoked on it and I'm learning a lot even every day as we go. Like, for example, adding these little countdown timers like that and little like animated GIFs. Like it's animated, right? I think it's animated. You can see that. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it and I'm using a tool called the Stream Deck, which I hope that you could see here. Let me see if I can pull this. There's like some buttons here that I could press to make it even easier for me to do some fun stuff too. 
I love the distance hug. Thank you. I love I love y'all. Uh, what new businesses or services should we consider building in response to the permanent changes coming from COVID-19? I think there's going to be a lot of room for how business hit, businesses can uh, train their employees to work more remotely. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of a lot more opportunities uh, in terms of work at home, uh, business at home, you know, uh, Zoom, uh, live streaming, like those kinds of things I think are going to be big. Um, I think that there's going to be a new normal, that's for sure. So being creative and thinking about, okay, well, with with this new sort of normal that we're going to see coming out of this, how can businesses, how can people continue on with life, getting what they need, but in this new world? And I think that that's going to be where a lot of the new business ideas are going to be coming from. I would imagine that with how powerful and how much uh, Zoom has grown, there's likely going to be a lot of sort of auxiliary businesses coming out of that, maybe add-ons to Zoom or how one might be able to better manage their businesses at home. We're starting to see webcams increase in price. Uh, We're starting to see content all about how to do uh, distance learning, I think is going to be a big uh, um, opportunity for sure. So, uh, you know, how might we help teachers better uh, provide value to those who are at home? Those kinds of situations, I think, are going to be really interesting. Hi, Pat. Do you follow Jordan Peterson? He surely has been able to build a huge audience. I do not. I'm not exactly sure uh, who that person is, uh, to be honest. In uh, Inside Property Investing. Hey, Pat. Great to see you at Social Media Marketing World a few weeks back, back when we could see each other. Crazy how much has changed since then. Just finished Superfans, though. So loads of ideas for our business during these tough times. Yeah, if, if you want to have some content, if you have a business already, and you want to understand what you can do in this situation to help further the cause, to help further your relationship with your audience. Superfans, my recent book, is a great, great audition. Uh, if you um, take a uh, addition to, to your arsenal, if you were to check that out, that'd be awesome. And uh, it's not available for free. My other books are right now on smartpassiveincome.com slash toolkit. However, you can get the Audible version. If you aren't an Audible subscriber, you can get Audible uh, and you can get Superfans for free with your first credit. Awesome. Greetings from Germany. Hope you're doing well, Germany. I know Germany's also getting hit hard, so stay safe, stay inside. Bert says, hey, Pat, my initial question was, I've got a large email list that I never tapped for revenue. Any suggestions on how I should introduce myself now that I'm in the podcast business? I think you should make a incredible episode that people could, could get into, one that's like, would be crazy for them not to get into, Bert. And what I would recommend is you, is you send an email just providing value. Hey, check out this podcast episode I created just for you. You can even sort of set this up ahead of time, asking them questions like, what questions uh, might you want me to answer on the podcast? What are your struggles right now that I can address on my upcoming show? And that way you're sort of teasing that you have a show coming out, but also letting them know that you know, you're gonna be there to answer their questions. And then you can follow up with, hey guys, check out my podcast. And then, of course, that through that communication, you can better understand what it is that you can do to serve them later on and begin to start monetizing that audience. Again, coming from a place of service with that value that you're providing on the podcast to sort of support that and create your authority. Omar says, dude, you're legitimately awesome. You are the most selfless informational YouTuber that I know. Thank you so much for serving. Thank you. Appreciate you for that. That's really cool. Hi, Pat. How do I promote Thai food on an online course? Thanks. I think right now that there is a huge opportunity for people who... Uh, are teaching to teach online in an online course. So using something like Teachable to put your recipes there, your special sort of um, secret sauce, if you will. Uh, It's a double meaning there. Um, But I think that if you had special uh, superpowers in that space, you know, put them on a put them on a course, sell them, you know, give give away the first lesson for free. And then that drives people in. And they're going to want to pay to get access for the rest of it. I think you definitely have some opportunities there for sure. Karma Cashflow says, question, talking about website reviews, what do you look for in a good website? I'm currently redesigning mine right now after a dumb hacker. I'm so sorry about that. My site was uh, hacked in 2013. I lost access to everything for two weeks. Fortunately, I had an email list and I had my podcast. And so I wasn't all out, but it was very, very stressful during that time. Uh, Speaking of website reviews, I'm going to be doing one in just a moment here, so just stay tuned. But in terms of what I look for in a good website, I look for um, I look for clear messaging more than anything. If I visit this website, can I understand who it's for and what the benefit is in the first 10 seconds? Number two, I look for easy ways to find information that I'm looking for. So if I want more info about that topic or if I want to see, uh, I also want to see social proof. How do I know that you're legit? about this. Um, And then number three, um, how do I know where you want me to go? So are you providing me sort of some clues or information about 
what you want me to click on. And I think that's really key from a website owner's perspective because you know you want to you want to help with that wayfinding. You want to help with that direction when a person comes to your website. Okay, so let's get into some of that right now. So what I would prefer is, you know, so I'm going to ask you to spam your 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 website. And I want to do a website review. I'm going to do a few of them in three minutes, and then we're going to go back to questions and answers. However, please know that if you just put in your website, it won't be seen because YouTube sees it as spam. So hopefully this format works, and this is probably the first test. If you can't do this, I can't, re- I can't review your website, and, and it won't work. So I would recommend that you do something like your website and then put dot in parentheses, spell out dot in parentheses, and then put the dot com, dot io, dot whatever afterwards. So let's try that. So it would be, for example, smartpassiveincome.com, and then in parentheses, spell the word dot, space, then the dot com. So let's try that for a second and see if that works. Uh, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for those, I'm going to uh, cool immigrantspirit.com. Cool. Oh, I guess if you just don't put the dot, that could work. <laughs> that could work. Okay, so we got Chris in the house. Uh, you guys, Chris is awesome. Um, he's doing some cool stuff to help immigrants, specifically those in Germany, uh, get to uh, Germany to find a job, which is really cool. So let's start with that. Okay, so I see a lot of things that are happening. And okay, it's kind of working, which is good. So I'm going to go to uh, this now. And then I'm going to go to immigrantspirit.com. Hopefully, y'all can see this. Smash that like button, too, to let me know you're good. Okay, immigrantspirit.com. Recruit and retain Recruit and retain international talent. Okay, so I see, number one, a big giant ad here right in the middle. And this looks like a Google ad which is just blocking sort of a a lot of things. So I don't know if that's meant to be, but perhaps this is a way for you to just, I mean, this is by far the number one thing. This website, the way it looks right now is you want me to click on. Like I wanna click on this big black button here, which I know will just take me to a separate website. So I'm gonna click out of that for now. So this is an ad by Google. Stop seeing this ad. I can't, I can't, I don't know if that's exactly what you want to happen there. But anyway, uh, very clear what you want me to do other than that. Uh, the, the reason why that came out is also I just see eyes like peering over the top of that. And that, again, is the first thing that drew. I like the logo, though. I like the fire, you know, immigrant spirit, like, like hey, let's light a fire under us to try and get stuff done. Uh, recruit and retra- retain international talent. Start here. English speaking jobs in Germany. So if that is exactly who this is for, then that should be mentioned on the front page versus um, you know, you didn't mention anything about Germany. I think that one thing is if you're going very local or very country specific, have it be very clear that you are country specific right on the homepage before having to click on anything. That's number one. Um, number two, I love that you have testimonials up here. That's great. Um, I, I would call that success stories, by the way. I don't like the word testimonials, especially like on the homepage of things because, oh, by the way, I didn't put the countdown timer. My bad. So I think the countdown timer is showing or it should show. Um, do I have it showing? Hold on, let me see. Oh, it's 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 lost from my, <laughs> I have it on the wrong side. Okay, let me pop this up here on top. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, so uh, a couple, couple more minutes here. Um, international talent, English jobs in Germany. Okay, not, not bad. You have a job board here, which is really powerful. Uh, podcast, I know your podcast works very well. This is cool that so very clear your job search and likely you are getting paid for any sort of connection that you have to companies from job searches and talent, which is really cool. I like this is very clear. It blends in really nicely. Uh, You have your SoundCloud player here, which is cool. And then you have a way for people to join an email list. I would see how you might be able to center this. It looks a little bit off to the left hand side, which just adds a little bit less quality. Um, if you don't, I don't know what's going on here with the Facebook and Twitter, but it might be looking to see what the social proof is here in terms of numbers. And I don't know if it's coming through. So these blue icons here, if they're not working, get rid of them. Okay. So podcast is great. I love the idea that you have a podcast because that's probably a, an amazing way to look at this one here. 
Fatty got a job in Germany. Germany That one has 1.3K uh, uh, downloads. You should do more episodes like that. Um, that's by far just crushing the competition here in terms of your show. So keep doing that. Let's see about us. So again, I got this big giant ad here. Consider if those things are actually working for you. If they're not working for you, get rid of them. But if they are driving a lot of income for you, then great, then that's fantastic. I would just, you know, realize that when people click on an ad like that, I mean, this is so big, by the way, they're removed, they're removed from your site. Is it worth that, uh, that, that loss for you? So keep that in mind. Uh, so this was an about me page. So our clients want to have the most talented people around the world, our clients, our clients, so who who are you though? I want to know a little bit about you, Chris. You are such a great uh, from what we, from from what I know in our conversations together. Um, you know, you have a great personality. I want to see a picture of you. I see a, little, a picture of you down here, which is really cool. How to win jobs and influence Germans. I think that's a fantastic lead magnet, which is great. Um, but I want to see you. I want to get to know why this is important to you. Do you have a story to tell? Who who else who else's story might you be able to tell on this testimonial page? You know, a uh, higher testimonial. Okay, so you have a lot of like, I landed my dream job in Germany, yay. Okay, these are great. You have like 12 testimonials in a very short period of time here, which is great. But I would also consider like, can you tell the story about somebody? How hard was it for somebody to get a job? And then how are you able to step in? I would recommend reading something like Story Brand and implementing that on your website. Okay, so how did that how did that roll? Did that feel good? Three minutes, I think, is a good amount of time. Let's go to some more people, and we'll do we'll do a couple more, and then we'll get back to questions and answers. So let's go here, mediateacher.com, mediateacher.com. What's up, Brad? Good to see you in here, and I will be rewarding likely more people who I know are regulars here. So this is one of the benefits of coming on every single time. I get to know you. You're you're involved in the community. I mean, just naturally, your name is going to stand out because I know who you are. Chris and I recently had a podcast episode together, which is why I selected him. But we're going to go with Brad, mediateacher.com. So let's go with that, and I'll start the countdown timer after I go here, mediateacher.com. That is not going to go correctly. Let me see, mediateacher.com. There we go. That's not right either. Let me see if I can. Okay. Media teacher.com I can spell I promise all right waiting for mediateacher.com here we go welcome to media teacher support inspiration community wow a lot of movement up here so you definitely want me to look up here that's what this sort of uh, these graphics are telling me which is really cool um, so let me start the countdown timer now but I'm not exactly sure media could be anything media in some cases could be the newspaper and, and fake news kind of media, right? Media could be, um, you know, uh, uh, video media. It could be podcasting. I'm not, I'm not necessarily sure. Support inspiration community. Tell me a little bit about who I am. Like uh, for video creators, podcasters who, who struggle and want to learn the quick, easy way to get set up. We have support, inspiration, and a community to help you. You know, you have so much real estate up here in the upper, 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 upper part. I do see what, what the main call to action is, which is, which is join the community, which is good. This button looks a little bit 1990s, so you could probably spice that up a little bit. My eye goes to this, yeah, this orange bar, and I like to do something called the squint test. The squint test is where I squint on a page and I see the brightest thing that pops out or the number one thing that stands out. And to me, it's just this orange bar. And so maybe the social media component of this is the biggest thing. But, ooh, I like the parallaxing effect there. That's really nice. See, this is a, I mean, I, I would say that this should be the top of the website. Hey, my name is Brad. Let me help you take some of the stress out of the media, out of media for when you, you know, again, media is so general. I think, I think you can get a little bit more specific with that. But I love that, by the way, we're over 200 viewers here today, which is really, really great. First time, hi, I'm Brad. This is great. I love the photo. Could probably have it brightened up a little bit, but uh, the orange shirt matching is really, this is, a, this is a great sort of top page. I would worry a little bit about cursive writing. Cursive writing is sometimes, should be used very carefully. However, I think that you're doing okay here. I do see four different fonts here, just like in the first uh, sort of top part here, right? I got this font up here, the join the community thing. Uh, I will, I do want to click on that in just a moment to see what happens. Uh, the bold font, the cursive font, free classroom resources, boom, free live stream, free audio editing, free, was that video editing? 
Um, that's awesome. That's really cool. Recent posts. Okay, this is very clean. I like. I like. I like it again. The the cursive is really tough. It's tough on the eye, especially when you consider somebody who's on a mobile and it's going to be a lot smaller. Look out. This is for everybody. Make sure your site is mobile compatible. Uh, subscribe now. Okay, so join the community seems to be the top priority here. So when I click on that, what happens? So get your free, free quick links. So join the community doesn't tell that doesn't connect to what is now being offered here. I see this is by ConvertKit, which is great. Um, free quick links, guys. Subscribe and receive free updates on the latest articles. So is it quick links or is it the community? And, and what am I subscribing to? Am I getting access to something? A little bit confused on the call to action here. I think we can work on that. Very, very good uh, branding. However, I, I would consider sort of what, what do you want to show first? There's a lot of real estate being lost in the first minute here, uh, first 10 seconds. So uh, hopefully this helps, Brad, but i um, very, very, very impressed with what I see so far. Uh, cool. So helpful. Thank you, Pat. Help Pat get for more views. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Okay, let's do one more. I like with the content, though, you were very clear, like, boom, this is what I want to show you. And that probably leads to, to, to some very authoritative content, which is really great. Super value in three minutes. Thank you, Pat. Uh, okay, um, let's see here. Ben, brilliantside.com. Let's let's go with Ben. Ben, 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 brilliantside.com. Ooh, okay. I'm starting the timer right now. All right, Ben, brilliantside.com. Very, very clear what you want me to do first. Get the course, a free course. Wow, okay, I'm intrigued. Ready to make a change in your, in your life? I think that perhaps one suggestion I might have already is just this 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 bold call to action, ready to make a change in your life. That's so great because you're asking a question, right? And so if I'm here and I say yes, like, okay, tell me more. And I think the words here are great. I think that this font in particular, ready to make a change, could be bolded up a little bit and 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 potentially stand out a little bit more. Um, if I'm doing the squint test, it still stands out. I like how it's sort of above the horizon there, which I think is really cool. You're looking out in the distance. I think that's really great. I would consider what would happen if you had, if, I don't know if this is a picture of you, Ben, but if you had a picture of a face instead of, of a dark person sort of facing the other way, uh, it, it could be a little bit more friendly. It could be a little bit more, you know, I don't like this makes sense. Cause it's like, Hey, are you feeling kind of down? Are you feeling, you know, to me, this is more of a, Oh, I wish kind of statement versus like, Hey, join, join, join sort of friend, friendly community, which is totally fine. I'm just nitpicking here. Get the course. So I click on this pop up. Great. Get more mental space. Is this a medit? So this is a meditation course. Great. So you're, you have a picture of somebody meditating, uh, first name, email address. I would sell this a little bit more. What am I getting in this course? I would have a bullet point, you know, um, one email a day to, 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 to relieve stress in your daily life. Um, quick and easy to implement in under five minutes a day. You know, those kinds of things here to sell it a little bit more. There's that you have a, a little bit of room here to sell a little bit more. Even though you're not selling, you're, you're still selling the idea of, of, uh, of taking action. Enroll me could be a little bit of a stretch for people because, oh, you're enrolling. Enrollment sounds like you're going to university versus um, get easy access or, um, you know, start the course now could be a quick, easy one versus enroll me, which is a, which is more of a higher level sort of like, you know, oh, am I, in, what am I enrolling in again? Like this is enrollment. Like I'm going to be, I'm going to have, there's going to be like an attendance list or something. Uh, okay. Latest podcast. Great. I love it. Uh, latest article. Very cool. How I didn't have to scroll very far for that. Not, not much else here, which is okay. Uh, let's go to the podcast and see what's up over there. I love that you have a resource page, by the way. Shut up, brain podcast. This is great. Stands out. Cool. I can, I can, I can subscribe to it here, which is great. Okay, let me go to one in particular. Shut up, brain. That's so good. You're using the, the podcast player from Fusebox, which is fantastic. You have your meditation course again, by the way. Send me the course. See, that's a good one. Send me the course versus enroll me. Got the resource. This is really good. I like it. And as you could tell, this isn't the the 
like craziest looking theme. It's not super fancy, but it does the job, which I really love. Resources, books, products, people. Yes, you have a resource page. You have your affiliate disclaimer, which is great. Man, I'm I'm really loving what I'm seeing here, Ben. This is I'm I'm really impressed. Uh, Matt Diavella, good. I love Matt. Let's go to YouTube. Does this take me to your YouTube channel? Like I would expect. Fantastic, Ben. Two point five k subscribers. Awesome. Uh, let's see some of your videos really quick. See if I can comment on that. Thumbnails, 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 thumbnails. On these la on these last few videos that you have, these thumbnails I think could use a little bit of work. Um, sort of like these ones down here draw my eye. The other ones that are up here. You know, although I, I see you haven't launched a video in two months. So anyway, that's the end of, the, uh, of that, that review. But well done, Ben. Whew, hopefully that was good. 215 viewers record. Thank you all so much. Great job today, uh, everybody. So we are back here. Cool. Well done. We're going to do another set in about 15 minutes. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, three minutes seems to work really well, and that way it's sort of like fair to everybody. There's a countdown timer. Uh, thank you. That was a lot of fun. So let's keep going here, y'all. And I know that you can learn from watching other people too, and I apologize. I can't get to everybody, but I just got to say, Ben, very impressed. And for those of you who went uh, before, uh, Brad and Chris, um, yeah, well done. Just keep up the good work. A lot of those small little tweaks can go a very long way. Uh, can I do an Australian-friendly time show? Uh, I can try at some point. I mean, there there are times where I just have the energy to go live again during the same day. Sometimes I do go that uh, in uh, on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram as well. Uh, cool. So uh, yeah, that was awesome, everybody. So let's 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 dive into a few more questions and answers. Uh, let me know what uh, how y'all are feeling and uh, what I can do to help you beyond just website reviews for right now. And again, as a reminder, should you all see some Super Chats, Super Chat is a sort of paid comment. Let me know because sometimes I miss them. Super Chats do get donated to the San Diego Food Bank here at the end of the month. Super Chats are sort of like donation type comments. I will see them. I will I will comment on them. I will answer your question about that. Um, and it doesn't matter how much it is. Just keep that in mind. That was awesome. Was making updates to our website in real time. Super valuable feedback can gain from watching others. Uh, awesome. Are these sessions every week these are every day every day 8 a.m pacific 11 a.m eastern and i'm doing this because number one i just want to be there for you during this crisis i know this is a good opportunity for a lot of people right what's the question we should all be asking during this time well what does this make possible what are the things that i can control that i can optimize and these are the kinds of things that we're talking about not just these site reviews, but connection to the community. Uh, and plus, it gets me up in the morning. So I'm here for y'all. Love the shirt. Very true in these increased times. Yes, uh, we is greater than me, except when it comes to um, groups of people that you should be physically around right now. You should be not alone, but just like with your core people at home because social distancing, right? Do you mind if I use quarantine with my piano students? They've been rock stars moving to online piano lessons this week. Do it, Shelly. Take it. It's not mine, actually. John Pullum, who comes in here every once in a while, gave me the idea, and then I saw it the other day on some other channel. Like this is a, th these are free words that anybody can use, and I think it just provides a lot of sort of community together. So yeah, feel free to use that for sure. Out of the caves says one a.m. Australian time. I'm so sorry. I know that on the other side of the world, it is um, definitely the timing is off. So I, I apologize about that, but. Uh, I go live when it when I have the most energy, but I'll try to see what I can do later. Hey, Pat Flynn, what do you think about podcasting in native language versus English? Ideally, I'd go for English. Mike, with the super chat, I'll get to you in just a moment. Thank you so much for that, Mike. I appreciate you. Um, ideally, I'd go for English, but I'm not sure if people would listen to a non-native post. So this is related to sort of non-native versus uh, or English versus native. It depends on what your goals are. Do you want to connect with people? Uh, and, and also, there's a lot of opportunity in non-English uh, Apple podcast categories, for example. Um, so, you know, every every country has its own sort of Apple podcast. And in and, and every country, there's different rankings. There's different, you know, uh, there's different, um, there's just a different environment there. And there's a lot less people there. So you could come in early on there. I would could just consider who is it that you're targeting and what would they prefer? Build a podcast for them. Build Build a podcast for them. So we got Mike in the house. No question, just a donation. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate you. You're amazing. That's going to be going to San Diego Food Bank at the end of the month because there's a lot of people, especially homeless, who are needing some help at this time. So I appreciate you for that. Uh, Mike, super chat. That's awesome. 
Guess what? I recorded my first podcast interview yesterday. Need to do an intro and outro. Struggling with that a bit. Okay, so this is typically the way that I go about doing interviews. I do the interview separately, right? Before I hit record, I typically tell the person I'm going to do a formal intro and a formal outro later. So I will just dive right in. Then I hit record and then I say, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here today. Tell us a little bit about, about yourself and then we dive into it, right? So uh, then from there, whoa, a couple more super chats came in. I appreciate y'all. Uh, shout outs in just a minute. Um, but to answer your question, uh, then we go into, then, then, then I do a recording session after where I go, okay, I do the intro. And in the intro, I make sure to let people know why they need to stick around, what the biggest learning moments were in this show without giving everything away for free, right? So I might give, or, or, or without giving everything away up front. So let's say you know, I interview you and you tell me sort of your favorite Facebook strategies that just kind of blow my mind. In the beginning, in the intro, I'm going to say something like a hook, like, Hey, everybody, welcome in. Today is session 215. We're going to be talking about Facebook ads in 2020 during the coronavirus. However, we have a special guest on the show that's going to reveal their top tips. You go or intro music or whatever you want to do. So that's kind of what I do. You set up a hook in the beginning and then in the outro, you want to remind people what they learned, right? This is the Dale Carnegie stand and deliver method. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Then you tell them. Then you tell them what, the, what you told them. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them. Then tell them what you told them. And that's a way for you to make sure that you sort of recap it. That's a basic structure for how uh, an episode or anything can be, really. I love the wow effect. I downloaded it so I can use it in real life, says Chris. What do you mean use it in real life? Like, just like you're walking about like, hey, you find a friend, you go, good to see you today. Love it. Thanks again, Mike, for the super chat. I see another one that came in from Martin. Martin, good to see you. Five. From Martin, just simply, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you for that. Uh, that means the world. Please keep this morning income stream going even after the quarantine is over. I might have to change the time because typically I'd, ha I'd have to be getting the kids ready for school at this time. But who knows? We'll see. I mean, uh, 224 people. We're, we're growing in size, that's for sure. So thank you again for being here. If you're new, my name is Pat Flynn. I do this every morning, literally every morning, 8 a.m., and I'm here to serve. I'm going to be doing some more website reviews in about eight minutes um, at the quarter mark uh, or three quarters mark of the hour, and then we'll finish up at nine. And if I'm feeling the energy, if I have a lot of people still watching, I might keep going. And it's Saturday. We're doing this every day, including the weekends, and I love you all for that. Whoa, somebody in the house just offered a, 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 an amazing uh, super chat. I appreciate you. Hugh Richards, grow food organically, uh, grow food organically. Thank you for changing my life. Wow, how did I change your life? I'm curious. Uh, thank you so much for that. Appreciate you. Uh, wow, uh, I'm Northeast Arkansas. Or yeah, I'm Northwest Arkansas. Sorry, not Northeast. We don't want the Northeast. We want the Northwest. Uh, thank you so much, Pat. Enjoying this inspiration and conversation uh, every day. Appreciate you, Randy. Randy, you're amazing. I appreciate you so much. Uh, a lot of good vibes happening in the room right now. I appreciate you for that. So let's do some more questions and then we'll get into a website review shortly after. So we got a question from Andrea here from betterscreentime.com. Check her out. She's helping your kids manage screen time and doing it in a way where it's not like forceful, but it's like together, right? So Jeff, definitely check her out. Any thoughts of doing FlynnCon or a live event in the fall? Um, so FlynnCon is going to be canceled. That's my live event that happens in the summer, and it's looking like that it's not going to happen, or it would be very irresponsible for it to happen, at least. And I'm still working out with the hotel because we're canceled. I will be sending an email to people who have tickets very soon, promise. We're just working out details with the hotel. But they're still holding me hostage to a $79,000 bill that's going to be happening in April. Man, these hotels are crazy. But I have my attorneys at my backs working for me to try and help me get out of that. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted. A lot of people said, Pat, do you want FlynnCon to be a live event or excuse me, a virtual event? Might we be able to do that? No, because FlynnCon is sp supposed to be and it was built for the live in-person in meetups, the communities, the direct access to the smart bar to get direct help from, from, our, from our sponsors. Uh, it is the two hour breaks in between sessions so you can talk about it and meet with people and elbow Bump, I was going to say shake hands with people and, and just talk in the hallways. That's what FlynnCon is. You cannot do those things virtually. However, we are thinking about doing a virtual event of some kind in the fall or maybe even in the summer, and we have some other things planned. So we will see. We will see. Um, this community is amazing. It is amazing, Ellen. And you're part of that community. I see you every day in here, and I appreciate you for that. Uh, let's see, Pat, is this BeLive software you were using? I like how you're popping up the person's question. Yeah, that's 
by far my favorite part. Um, I'm using Ecamm. So if you want to go through my affiliate link for that, that's patflynn.com slash Ecamm live. E-C-A-M-M-L-I-V-E. Did you originally pick the date for FlynnCon? Uh, have, have, did you originally pick the date for FlynnCon? Well, we actually had it for July 24. And then Comic-Con said, oh, we're going to do July 24. Which, by the way, I haven't thought about that. What's, what's Comic-Con going to do? Man, that's going to be terrible. It's sort of like how South by had to cancel in in Austin, which was a huge just def- oh my gosh, their community just suffered so much because of that. And San Diego is going to suffer too because that's a huge draw for the San Diego economy. This is terrible, you guys. But hopefully, we can stick together through this. And this is why we're here. Uh, but anyway, then I moved it to July sixteen to eighteen, and then now it's going to be canceled because of the coronavirus. So this is this is just insane. What's happening in the world right now? Um, <laughs> Sorry for four ninety nine, can't change it to five. That's okay. When I do super chats for for uh, content creators that I support, it's the same thing. Four ninety nine for some reason. Your podcast over the last four years and videos. Twenty one years old and full time YouTuber and author. You gave me the mindset I needed. Twenty one. You are insane. Well done, my friend. Uh, and thank you for giving me credit for that. But you did all the work, so great job. Uh, let's see. Keep going. Question. I can't. Ref- I can't define my niche yet. I forgot that word. I'm 10 years into mindset philosophy and want to combine that with business building and help people as I know how hard it is to not go crazy as I'm a freelancer. So maybe your niche isn't something specific in sort of mindset. Maybe your niche is specifically to a type of person and what their goals are. So what I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna kind of brainstorm here. What if, for example, you chose to focus specifically on the mindset of you know, authors, for example, and you help them write their books, you help them sell their books, because there's a lot of things that that are involved with being productive and staying on top of it and selling your books. That's a like, if you were like, hey, I'm the mindset coach for authors, or hey, I'm the mindset coach for physical trainers, I'm the mindset coach for fill in the blank, maybe that's your niche. Is there or might there be a very specific group of people that you can't wait to help, or that you would prefer to help even? And then try to find an experiment by getting one person in that space, one result to see, do you like it? Do they like it? Can it work? Can you imagine doing that all the time? And at least starting there could work really, really well. All right, three more minutes and we're gonna do some more site reviews. I'm stuck inside. Is it a good time to start your business or making people better public speakers or Zoom speakers? Chris, I think there's an opportunity now. There's a lot of people getting into learning right now and we're not gonna be holed in forever. That's that's for sure. And I promise you coming out of this, people are going to be craving that in person, getting up on stage, hearing people, going to events again. People are going to want to travel again. I see on the other side of this, whenever it happens, that there's just going to be a huge boom in events and and, and those kinds of things. And I think that there's going to be people that are going to need to, you know, or, 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 or people who are going to want to start going down that route and they're going to need to learn from somebody. So might you be able to step up in and into that? Super chat from Podcast Age. Hey, welcome. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Um, Keep up the great work, Pat. Thank you. Big shout out to you and all that you're doing here on the YouTubes. Doing some awesome stuff. As someone writing a novel, mindset coach or authors could totally be a thing. Thanks. That was an amazing piece of advice. Okay, last question before we get into some more site reviews. And then we're going to go back into some questions to finish off today. I can't believe how quickly these go. Right? Like we're already 43, 44 minutes into this. And I'm just kind of blown away. And I'm glad that I could keep you here. By the way, Team Flynn for the win. You're amazing. Hashtag Team Flynn or uh, Quarantine Flynn, uh, if you will. Uh, Let's see. Summit for Wellness. Hey, Pat, how are you listening to the sound effects of your Rodecaster Pro? Uh, Are you guessing how they sound or are you using Bluetooth headphones? So I know where they're at, by the way. I have. The Rodecaster Pro comes with this. This is what makes the Rodecaster Pro special. It comes with a, a dry erase board that shows me what what the little things are right so you can see here the little bo- the, the little colored things um that this is what the sound effects are and they are being erased a little bit but i know that this is the laugh track <laughs> that one right that one right there this is the applause and this is the and you just the more you do them the more the more you learn about them so i i know what they are plus i do have sound coming through a headset that's on very low volume so the mic doesn't pick it up and I can hear it too. So we're good to go there. We're almost at 250, y'all. You guys are crazy. Thank you so much for being here. Maybe because it's the weekend, although every day is the weekend now, apparently. Uh, so again, thank you for being here. Let's do some more site reviews. Let's do some more site reviews. So I'm going to go here and find some more that came in. Uh, 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 uh. 
Okay. I, I need to see your, your websites again because I don't have them. Uh, actually, actually, we got, actually, I could see them here. I could see them here. Aromatic Wisdom Institute from Liz. Let's go there and, and check that out. Aromatic Wisdom, is that right? Aromatic Wisdom Institute.com. Hopefully, I'm typing that in correctly, and then we'll go to the screen share. Aromatic Wisdom Institute. Okay, we're, we're starting the review right now. Let me go full screen here. Actually, let me start over. Boom. Okay, Aromatic Wisdom Institute. Aero, mm, aromatherapy education you can trust. Cool. Okay, love the branding. I love how there's sort of lavender in the background, which is great. The logo, the colors are really nice. I really love this. About you, that's fantastic. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is for, but I might not be in the target audience, so I'm not saying you need to change it. Uh, aromatherapy education, however. So... I'm curious is, if this is for somebody, if you're teaching people aromatherapy, for example, to be sort of uh, therapists, or are you helping me learn about this for, for my own life? But let's see, courses, aromatic wisdom courses, podcast, blog. Wow, that was I like that animation. Your website's very neatly and nicely laid out. Get the guide, fat out, which ar ar uh, aroma, I can't say this, I'm sorry. Aromatherapy path is right for you. Um, I think that this perhaps, uh, this, the wording, so I'm getting nitpicky here and only because I like what I'm seeing, by the way. Get the guide, I love this. Um, this could be a box that could stand out a little bit more. Perhaps a purple box with white text because this almost blends in too much. I almost missed the name and email inbox. And so because this is a call to action that you want to happen, I, I would have it stand out for sure. Um, I would also have the the image here on the iPad a little bit like there's a lot of small words in there and my eye wants to go there to read that and I'm not quite sure you know I think a lot of this text like five er, uh, aromatherapy paths for greater health wealth being and income could be under uh you know on the right hand side here and then if you just had a beautiful image of just like page one or the the cover or something there's a lot of small words that I can't read there and that that's not that's annoying to my eyes. Why learn aromatherapy with Aromatherapy Wisdom Institute? Over 25 years, okay, this is good. This is the proof I was looking for. So, okay, well, there's probably a lot of people talking about this, like, why you? And this is great here. I love how you sort of made these sort of things um, sort of uh, grayed out so that they're, they're not. This is very, like, you are an expert. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, argue that. Our story, my aromatherapy story. For, so my question here is, is it a... Institute or is this you, right? So my Rome, so it's like our story. That's like more than one person. And it's like my journey. So it could be um, that there's just a little bit of inconsistency there. What our students say, that's fantastic. Wow, this is beautiful. This is really, really well done. Let me check out the podcast. Where's the podcast? Um... Cool. It looks very much like Pinterest, which is really cool. Again, whoever designed your website, give them like give them some credit. This is really nice. The the uh, colors are really well done. Okay. About today's guest. So one thing that I would suggest, and and I'm not saying that you're not doing this, uh, but one thing that on show notes pages, I know a lot of you have podcasts. Um, I'll, t I'll talk about this website for one more minute because I haven't found anything yet that could be super helpful. I think the guide, you know, getting people into your email list is going to be a big key, right? But I think that one thing that we could all do, if you have a podcast and you have a show notes page, you, you essentially need to use your show notes page to sell clicking play, right? Sell clicking play, meaning a lot of people might discover your podcast on your website and they're going to wonder why they need to click play. So I'm going to I'm going to read this and see how well this sells sells me on this about this episode. If you use essential oils, Hydrosol, CO2, or vegetable carrier oils. This episode of the Aramag Podcast with Dr. Kelly is the one you will not want to miss. Wow, that was really good. So, hey, qualifier, if you use this, then this show's for you. That's great. I interviewed Kelly, who is she? An expert on medicinal botanicals at risk. I straight up asked, I love it. You're also talking in your text. It doesn't seem like, there's the, 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 the Aromatic Wisdom Institute seems like a very, like to me, I was a little bit worried because I'm like, okay, here is a person trying to seem like they're a professional sort of like, you know, um, not that you're not professional, but like you're, you're, you're this sort of big company corporation, if you will. But I love the sort of looser way that you're writing here. I straight up asked Dr. Albert, 
are we in danger of running out of some essential oils because we're over harvesting the plants? Her answer, you'll have to listen to the podcast. Well done. I like the design. Yeah, really good. So far, I mean, really, really great. I, I would I would just start to hone in on some strategies, split testing, see what works, see what doesn't. You're already at that level. Uh, well done. The one thing I am seeing is a lot of this social stuff has zero, one, one, zero, zero. Maybe that's worth putting to the side or down below because there's not a lot of social proof there. And that could potentially sort of remove me from the website. So well done. Uh, fantastic work. Let's go to another uh, website. Yeah, that was fantastic. Really, really stoked on that. Okay, sorry. I just have to keep finding stuffs. All right. Um, try hot plug or hot pug dot com slash podcast. And I'm going to try Mary's because she helped me out yesterday yesterday in uh, showing um, me that I should do a waiting room. So she helped me. I'm going to help her. So let's try hot pug dot com slash podcast. Let's see if that works. Okay, so we have a very, very specific page, and I'm just going to comment on this, okay? So this won't take very long, but uh, oops, wrong one. Okay, so this is a pre-launch page, and I don't know if, Mary, this is what you wanted me to see, but this is a pre-launch page, and this is something that um, we might use if we're coming out with something in the future, right? So in this case, it's for a podcast. So Unleash Your Fire podcast coming soon. And really what we want to do here is sell the upcoming thing into our email list so that we can build a wait list, right? And this will, the, the way that it's structured now will only work, what you're seeing right now, it will only work if you've been able to have a conversation with somebody elsewhere and only if you've sold that there. I'm not saying that this isn't good because in many cases, a super quick, easy page like this will work because maybe you have a blog and you can say, hey, click on this landing page to uh, subscribe to the wait list. However, in that case, you might as well just put it on your website. So I would recommend having this page sell it a little bit more. What is the Unleash Your Fire podcast? What is the goal of it? Who is the host? Who are you? And 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 what can you do to sell? So what, what, bullet, like, what bullet points can you put in here? Who is this for? How do I know this is for me? And then your best email here, um, that, that, that works. And then 66 days out, I mean, this is this is way into the future, right? So I think that um, 66 days out, you know, I think you could you could position it as, hey, we are launching in a couple months. Notif uh, click uh, and insert your email so that, you know, you also wanna know, tell people why it's important to, to get the email, right? Uh, for, for them to put their email there. And that is important because you want to notify them when uh, the episode, when the show goes live. You want them to be the first to know about it. You're going to share some maybe uh, behind the scenes as you as you create this. And that's what I would say here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna. There's not really too much to talk about there. But one thing that you have the opportunity to do with your podcast so far out is you you can start to see the idea that it's coming by sharing your process and letting people know, hey guys, I just got my microphone today. Hey guys, I just got the artwork for the podcast. Check this out. What do you think? By the way, if you want to get notified when this podcast comes out, here's a landing page to go and check it out. And that will do the selling for you. Again, hey, I just did my first interview today. Here's a page to check it out so you can get notified when this interview goes live. It's with somebody that it's going to blow your mind. Hey, everybody, like do the work and share it behind like like behind the scenes, all those kinds of things, letting people know that, the, that it's coming ahead of time. Awesome. Uh, good site reviews. Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to do that. And we'll do more of them. So we did five today, which is pretty cool. But I think that we definitely could do a little bit more. And uh, did I go? Yeah, okay, I'm in the right spot now. Uh, fantastic, we got 261 people watching live right now. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday morning with me or your Sunday morning with me if you were on, in Australia. <laughs> uh, but this, is, this was fantastic, I appreciate y'all. And, um, and super fun. But I'm not going anywhere yet. I think that I can spend maybe 10 more minutes in here with y'all if that's cool. And I'm saying y'all a lot for some reason. I have no idea why I am. Doug says, everyone has burnout days. That is what Pat and root beer floats are for. That's really funny. Uh, let's see. Just Samson was saying some stuff. 
and I want to hook him up with some, with an answer because I I appreciate I appreciate you, Samson, for being here all the time. Uh, what do you do when you have lost the passion for what you are good at? Uh, this is a great question. So I would consider. So uh, let let me let me add some uh, some ambiance here for this question because I think it's it's really key. That's not a good. Okay, screw the music. Um, losing the passion is something that's very common. And it can become very common when what it is that you once enjoyed starts to become a chore it, or it starts to um, have you do things within that that you actually don't want to do. A uh, classic example is somebody who is a designer. They love designing. They're passionate about it. And, they, and then they start a business being a designer. But then there's all these other things that they have to do. They have to work on the accounting and they have to work on, you know, the client calls and they have to work on all these things that they aren't passionate about. They're passionate about design and they would much rather get to a point where you're just designing for people and, and not even worrying about that other stuff. So there are a couple things you can do here. And actually, there's another story about this that I want to talk about. Shalene Johnson, any, any Shalene Johnson fans here? She's awesome. You definitely have to check her out. Marketing Impact Academy. Her, she's amazing. So Shalene Johnson is a is a passionate snowboarder. She snowboards. She loves it. It's her favorite thing to do. And she had an opportunity to build a business in the snowboarding space, which was like perfect. She's a businesswoman. She's also a snowboarder. Like, let's marry the two things. Perfect. And it's a fashion. It was like a fashion line for snowboarders, which is like a third thing she loves. She loves fashion. She always dresses so amazingly. And um, so, yeah, this makes sense, right? However, after a couple meetings with people to start to establish this business, it became very clear to her that this would actually suck the energy away from her in the world of snowboarding. And she did not want that. So she totally said, you know what? I do not want to go down this route and turn it into a business. Or if I do, I don't want to be involved with it at all. I just want to make fun decisions about fashion and, and continue to snowboard. I don't want to have to do those other things. So it was either hire people or just focus on those things or, 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 or uh, just put her name on it. And she didn't want to do that. So she just said, no, I don't want to go down that route. So I'm just going to snowboard all the time and have fun with it and, and continue to have fun with it. Um, the other thing that I do when I lose my passion, which happens sometimes, and, and, and sometimes just losing the passion means just losing the energy or knowing that you have like chore related type things to do related to that thing. I always go back to, well, why did I get into this in the first place? And for me, a big part of it is, is helping people. I, in the architecture space, worked so hard in 2007, 2008, and I got let go. Number one, I got let go, even though I was putting a lot of work into my passion of architecture. And number two, I never got recognized for it. I, I, I put in so much additional work beyond what was in my job description that I, and I never got thanked for it by anybody in, any, in my higher ups, which is why when I started this uh, lead architecture exam website, like a niche in a niche in a niche, and I started noticing that I was helping people and people were calling me by name. Pat, thank you. You helped me pass this exam. Pat, thank you. And I'm a three in the Enneagram. I didn't know that back then, but I know that now. For me, my energy comes from knowing that I'm helping other people and getting recognized for that. Not because I, I, I'm I like cocky, hopefully you don't feel that way, but because that that is who I am. I get recognition and I feel important when other people tell me that I'm helpful. So that, that, that's both a, both a blessing and a curse, you can ask my wife. Uh, but truly, that's what gives me energy. And I think, so, so, so when I started going into online business and getting that recognition, I just kind of went all out with it. I found where my passion was within that. And so I would consider, Samson, what is it about what you do that gives you the energy? Can you fit more of that in there? Can you do more of that? Can you do less of what you don't like to do? Thank you, everyone. My phone never stops and the demand is never ending. Every time I move to something else, I get sucked back in. I'm not overwhelmed by any means. It's just I'm, uh, if anything, I'm bored. It's hard. Yeah, bored, being bored about what you're doing is hard, too. And I, I, you know, I always try to find out ways that I can make it more exciting. Hence this setup here. Right. I'm here doing this kind of thing because I want to have fun with it. And I have, guess what, the recognition that comes in from doing these things live. And more than that, I can experiment and, and play around a little bit and, and do some fun things, too. So, you know, I can I can play music and I don't know, like I don't get to do that when I'm doing a podcast. I, I can, but it's editing. and I don't want to do that, but I can do that here and we can just have some fun. By the way, with the, we're at the top of the hour. You want to go 10 more minutes with me? Let me know if you guys want to go uh, 10 more minutes. Let me know. I'm here to help. We're going to have some fun too. What up, Pat? Good to see you, Jake. Thanks for being here. Just dropping in and say hi. Thanks for your mentorship coaching over the past few years. Appreciate you. Thank you, Jake. You're amazing. 
Question for Pat and others. Is AH refs worth it for someone just a year in business full time? Seems a bit pricey. Uh, so AH refs is a keyword research tool, by the way, if, in case you didn't know, it is pricey unless you're going in there every day or unless you need to go in there every day. As much as I love those guys, it is very pricey. You could probably get that information elsewhere. Not as much and not as detailed. However, it is very pricey. And I would say right now is not necessarily the right time to think about getting something super expensive that you're not quite sure of. If you know that it can help you, if you know that it's something that will just change everything for you, then absolutely. I mean, this is the time to invest in your business, but on things that you need that you are sure of. And so I would consider before you make any buying decisions, what's what, what do you absolutely need? So you obviously are considering buying this. Why? Can you write those things down? Can you be very clear with that before you make a buying decision? And can you get your investment back with that? If yes, then maybe yes. If not, then might there be a better way to get access to that? Question, do you drive a lot of traffic, ad, uh, ad traffic to your site? If so, where are you sending them? Blog posts, landing pages for your courses, or do you not spend much on ads? Uh, we, don't, we don't spend much on ads at all. The only time that we actually spend ads are when we know for sure that we're going to get a dollar value back. That way we can track whether or not, okay, we can spend $1, get $1.50 back. Okay, let's spend $100 and get $150 back, right? We only spend ads, spend money on ads when we are mostly sure that we can see and track the income coming back. Now, we haven't done yet an email list building campaign, in which case that's a little bit different because we're not doing that necessarily to get a direct ROI from those ads. We are doing that to grow our email list, which will then in turn, in the long run, after a nurture sequence, after understanding more about that audience, get that money back in some way, shape, or form, or at least get more exposure in some way. Um, so we will likely run email list building campaigns, in which case we would have a budget for, okay, we're gonna spend $2,000, we're gonna hope to get this many emails, how, how might we be able to do that? Okay, let's run a challenge. Then let's run ads to the challenge and just focus on getting people into the challenge and getting getting people into the email list from there, if that makes sense. That's how we approach sort of uh, sort of payments uh, for, for, for exposure. Woo. All right, I guess you all wanna keep, keep sticking around for a little bit, which is great. Thank you. 10, 10, 10. All right, Startup Flame says, what, what tracking tool do you use? Google Analytics or Magic Click? or magic, click magic. Any thoughts on uh, convert kit or click magic to do something on tracking? I wish to track even ads on all social media promos and posting. Uh, the best way to track would be to do something called UTM parameters. Uh, and that's just through Google. It's done for free. However, um, it connects with your Google analytics and it's not the easiest thing in the world. So UTM tracking uh, I use and it's really key for a lot of our metrics in the future. But we definitely use, um, we definitely use Google analytics more than anything. Uh, along with the UTM tracking parameters. Hi, Pat, do you have one or two lights in front of you in the current setup? Currently, I have two. So uh, I have, actually, I might be able to show you specifically. So I got my iPad here. Let's go to the iPad setup. So I got this light here, which is really all I need. This is a Aperture uh, 1200 Mark II with a nice little mini dome there, and it adds a nice wash on my face from this side. I do have another light, however, because I don't want it to be so dramatic and cinematic. I'm gonna turn this light off and I'll show you what it is in just a minute because you'll see just how dramatic it looks. So you see how now my face is still nicely lit, but it's a little bit more dramatic. Dramatic meaning there's a nice dark shadow on the other side, which makes my face pop, but it's very, a little. it's, it's a little bit more sort of serious, if you will. Um, and I don't want this live stream to be that. So what this light is, is let me show you really quick. This is called an ice light. Let me turn it down. And the reason why I have the ice light is because I want it to be a little bit more friendly. I want it to be lit on both sides and, and it still provides a nice shadow, this, this light over here. But this is the ice light here. And it looks like a lightsaber. And that that's really it. And then I have the lights behind, of course, those lights, and then I have this light Right there, you see that blue light down below? That's providing a nice blue wash behind me. So quite a quite a few things. Um, and then that's just other things that are behind me. I like how I can do this, by the way. Could I, could I do selfie mode, actually? I should be able to, right? Whoa. What's up, y'all? 120D Mark II, uh, 1200, excuse me, 1200. 
Aperture, A-P-U-T-U-R-E. A-P... A-P-U-T-U-R-E. With U's. It's weird that it's with U's. That's, I, always get, I always get messed up with that. Cool. We got five minutes already. Wow, we're halfway through the 10-minute overtime. Uh, thanks for the thumbs up, everybody. I think this is the first time we're over 100 thumbs up as well. Uh, also, check out... Anyway, 8 a.m. every morning... Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. I will be, uh, I will be going live every day, and I will have a waiting room before the live starts. So if you come in early, you can chat with the community. So just keep that in mind. And I love that 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 happened today because usually we just start and everybody sort of starts to get to know each other. But already conversation was happening, which is really cool. Thank you again for the awesome super chats. All that stuff's going to be donated by. Uh, those are just donations from you that go to the San Diego Food Bank at the end of the month. And, um, and yeah, when do we have a quarantine party? Yeah, we should do one. We should just do like a happy hour one day where literally it's like no business questions. Let's just chat and, and have some fun and I'll have a drink with y'all. Uh, and, and that, that might be, be kind of cool. Maybe we could do that one day. Hey, Pat, do you have a must read book list? So just three books off the top of my head that I want to recommend. The Coaching Habit by Michael Bungay Stanier. This is everything like uh, back here. I have a post-it note uh, of the things that I learned in that book that I always keep in front of me because when I'm coaching people, it just has the questions I want to ask. Um, number two, Never Split the Difference. That's about negotiation from Chris Voss, a former FBI negotiator. I love that book. If you are doing interviews, that's a great one. Not that you're negotiating with somebody you're interviewing, but you can get some great information using the tips in that book. And then number three, definitely The One Thing by Jay Papasan and Gary Keller. I would also recommend Superfans by this guy. He's okay, Pat Flynn, uh, as well as his free books, Will It Fly and and and, and um, Will It Fly and what's my other book? Let Go. By the way, if you were recently laid off, I'd recommend checking out Let Go. You can check it out over here at smartpassiveincome.com slash toolkit. It is free. You can download it for free as a PDF right now. You could go to Audible and listen to the audiobook as well. Uh, Will It Fly is there too, plus a lot of a lot of other resources, including courses that are uh, free for right now, as long as we're in this sort of crazy time in the world together. Uh, so you can go and get access to those tools there. I also want to say a big shout out to Team Flynn who showed up today. Team Flynn for the win. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, yeah, what do I uh, what do I drink with my like, coffee? Live stream, Pat Flynn live streams. Uh, yeah, I drink coffee during live streams. Uh, coaching habit, what are your things that you are following from there? Um, so number one, try not to be an advice monster, meaning like a lot of times when people ask for help, you want to just like pfft, like puke advice on them. And it just becomes like this overwhelming situation, right? And that's what most people do. That's what a lot of parents do to their kids, right? You should do this or do this, or I recommend you do that. And that's not necessarily the best way to go. Because if you can coach, which means asking the right questions to get that person to come up with the answer on their own, you're essentially just guiding them through the questions that you have. Them being the one that you're coaching, coming up the idea feels more ownership with that idea. And then they're going to be more likely to do the thing. So imagine you're coaching a kid or parenting. And instead of just telling what your kid to do, you ask them questions so they come up with the right answer. Well, they're going to be more likely to actually do the thing because they feel ownership. It's like inception. I checked out Ecamm, but I see it is for Mac users only. Currently, I have Windows. Is there something comparable that I can use for live streaming? Um, definitely check out OBS. OBS streaming software, I think, will work. And I think that's definitely something that will, um, that's that's definitely usable on a PC, guaranteed. It's a little bit less user-friendly, but Haley here says OBS as well. So that's two people confirmed, at least for OBS. Uh, Zinni and Vlad, I love my shirt. I love that you love the shirt. Uh, let's see. There's a golden nugget for sure right there. Thank you. Just started reading Let Go. Expected it to be good and I'm enjoying it more than I thought. Great. Thank you. Yeah, we get deep in that book. I mean, we go into the emotions of what it was like to be laid off and all that great stuff. Uh, enjoy the stream today. We got one more minute, y'all. So before you leave, pick uh, before you leave, insert your best tip, the best thing that you learned here on the stream today in the chat so we could all see, see what matches up, see if maybe there was one thing that people like more than others. What was the one thing that you picked up from the stream more than anything? Leave that in the chat. I think that'd be awesome. Uh, and then I'm just going to do uh, some final remarks and some closing remarks here. So it's the weekend. I want you to spend some time with your loved ones. I know that we're all sort of locked in. 
I would uh, challenge you to do something new that you haven't done yet during this sort of quarantine situation. Maybe it's pick up a puzzle, maybe it's play some games with your kids, maybe it's, you know, start that new project. Um, I'm not exactly sure where in the world you're at or what you're doing, but there are some crazy things happening out there. And I think that this is a good time to think and reflect on what new can we do that can add some more interesting, not boring things in our life. Uh, that we already have access to, right? Because right now it's hard to get into new things that we have to go out and buy. We have to go to these places and get entertained. So you kind of have to self-entertain, which is kind of interesting. So um, just I want to challenge you to think about what else can you do that you haven't done yet that could be newly added to your life uh, that would add some value, add some sort of fun things. Uh, let's see. Great, great uh, answers here that I'm seeing. I wish I could answer all of your questions. Suzanne says, show up, just show up again and again. And hopefully you can see that I'm trying to do that for you. So before you leave, hook me up with a thumbs up, check out some of the other videos on the channel if you'd like to support. And of course, thank you for all the super chats again. And I'll see you tomorrow, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Come a little bit early, chat with the, the crew here, the quarantine, if you will. Uh, and yeah, just so blessed, so, so thankful for you. Um, keep up the good work. Cheers, take care, and as always, Team Flynn for the win.